Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here with round two of the ADV Cup. This time I'm playing Poke Basket. I apologize if I sound tired, it's because I recently woke up. But let's just get right into it. So uh, my opponent ends up leading Zapdos. I lead Salamence. Now, Zapdos' Thunderbolt is definitely uh, a huge issue for me. Um, a Toxic could come out as well. Uh, have fun, bro. It's interesting because like based on his replays, I actually decided to choose this uh, Salamence lead team because... Um, it matched up decently versus whatever he led off with. Like, for example, if he had um, Tyranitar lead, which he led off with three different times, uh, I would just, if I saw it, I'd double immediately in a Magneton and try and catch Skarmory. But I uh, lead Zapdos, which is very scary. Hmm. I'll go Detar just to set the pace, I guess. Uh, he could just Baton Pass immediately, too. Uh, just goes for Thunder Wave, which is definitely not the best for me. If I'm him, I'm a baton pass out. Yeah, if I'm him, I definitely baton pass out. I'm gonna crunch right here as he goes Metagross. So I get an unfortunate, uh, I get an unfortunate para, which doesn't give me any information at all on this cross. I do have a Swampert though, which is a pretty decent switching. And Sam being up also hinders the Zapdos's leftovers or recovery rather. So uh, we get in Swampert. I'm just gonna play the uh, the safe game and click. Hmm. He could have. A, I'm, I'm gonna double out to Mag just in case he has a Scarm. I want to see that inform that damage though. Hold on. Swamper. It's definitely not choice ban. Better grass. There's no Stealth Rock. What? What are we in? Huh? This is ADV. Anyway. It's not choice ban. Minion Mash would have done a lot more. Uh, he goes Cloyster. So this is more or less kind of what I expected, but mainly uh, Skarmory, but still not bad at all. Uh, it does allow me to potentially Toxic right here or just get off a Thunderbolt. I'm a Toxic. Uh, if he has a Dougie in the back, so be it. But if I get a Toxic off on something like Porygon or Lax, unfortunately, with Immunity, ends up coming out. Definitely not the best situation for me. I have Curse Swampert, which does a lot so far, depending on the Zapdos' hidden power set. I'm not sure what my initial switching is to this thing. Alright, just Body Slams. Body Slam could be Body Slam Shadow Ball Earthquake. I mean, like looking at it, it looks like it's just Pert. Yeah, nice. So, we can that boy with the Quake. Uh, I'm assuming if if I'm my opponent, I go Cloyster or I boom. If he actually booms, it'd be pretty problematic if he has an Aerodact on the back as well. Double out to Mag again. Yep. All right, so uh, this time we're going to click Thunderbolt. Just gauge the damage uh, on Snorlax coming in, especially if it's not a Curse Lax like that. That might uh, to a KO him next time. You know, what I'll do here is I go Salamence. Um, you have to intimidate as he goes for Earthquake. Perfect. So I do have the choice ban Brick Break, and I expect him to fear that. Uh, so I'll double right back out into my mag. I guess he could explode as well, but I, I feel like you'd switch into something that could take choice ban Brick Break. Metagross is interesting too because like it can come in right now. Yeah, it goes Zapdos. Perfect. So I get a nice strong Thunderbolt off on uh, the Zapdos. Uh, he could Thunder Wave me, unfortunately. But I get a beautiful strong Thunderbolt off, and that's going to be really important for Starmie in the back as well. He could be Rest, but Rest doesn't run Sleep Talk anymore. Yeah, Thunder Wave Baton Pass, Hidden Power of Choice, and Thunderbolt. That's a set. So beautiful for my Starmie. Snorlax comes in. Nice full para. I'm a Thunderbolt. I don't think he's going to let me go immense. That full pair sucks, man. That full pair really sucks. Ah! Damage on Lax is nice. At least I forced a rest. I do have my own Lax in the back, but I want to be really careful about setting up because he has Explosion on Metagross and Explosion on Cloyster, and this could have Explosion as well. 
Never mind, I go mens. It's safe. Don't get the pair. Thank you. Alright, so... I don't really want a brick break because I don't want Zapdos coming in. He's just going to baton pass spam with Zapdos too. That's fine. It's the play. But do a good chunk to Snorlax, much, uh, or if not, knock him out. Do we see leftovers on Gross? We do. So a mash could definitely come out as well. Uh, Pert is just a good mid-ground play. As he goes for Psychic. Ooh, so that boy is Spatak invested. So that means he could have HP Grass. Maybe not, actually. Yeah. I, I, I don't mind this because I'm pretty sure my, uh, my Starmie at least is going to scare him to a point of... I'm switching out due to the Thunderbolt. And I don't think I need a predict right here. I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm not going to bother predicting whatever's coming in. Uh, especially because it's probably going to be Lax, uh, most likely. And I don't think Hydro Pump will 2-it KO him. Offensive Hydro Pump, I don't think he'll 2-it KO. And at least if I can Thunderbolt get rid of Cloyster as he tries to spin block, then uh, it makes it a lot harder for him. At least he won't be able to boom on me. Goes Gengar, trying to spin block. Beautiful damage on Gar. Um, if I had Psychic, he's going to expect me to go for it here, but I'm just going to Hydro Pump. Ooh, we connect on Lax. It's really nice. If I were him, I would try and boom right now. So I think Mag is going to be my play because it's so slow. Yep. Okay, so uh, Gary with Snorlax, awesome. Um, Starmie's in position to sweep Ice Beam should knock out Zapdos and Gengar goes down to Hydro Pump. Hmm. I'll bring in Starmie again. As he goes T-Tar. Yeah. This is offensive Starmie and there's no Spadef boost for Tyranitar right now. So I, I want to say this has a good shot of killing, yeah. I mean, that's the minus but death nature. What about the choice band set? That's still a really good shot of killing. Yep. Um, that roll is severely in my favor. That roll is severely in my favor, dude, to any variant of T-Tar. Actually, not, it's not even. No, not if it's just max HP. Or am I alive? If he boomed right now, can I deal with his last few? That's the thing. Tyranitar can pretty much beat those two. Yeah. I don't want him booming. On, I don't want him booming on something else. I think Tyranitar can pretty much deal with the last two. Um, relatively well. And Snorlax beats this and can beat uh, Gengar. Bring us elements. I, I think Gengar can come out, but it would just be Ice Punch if anything. I can let it go down to HP Flying or to Rock Side, then they're bringing Titar. Yeah, I don't think that Salamence's speed is going to matter at all. I'm going to HP Flying. As he goes hard cloister, I don't, I really don't mind cloister coming in, especially because it's getting uh, weakened to the point of uh, Pert being able to knock it out. So we'll just double HP flying, and my Tyranitar should be able to clean up as he just spikes. Don't mind as long as I get the crunch off on Gengar, and then my uh, my Snorlax one v ones, the Zapdos, we should be good. Um, yeah, that calc was completely off of Hydro Pump. Ooh, that could matter if he was max HP. Otherwise, it does a good chunk. A beautiful chunk, actually. Uh, his own Zapdos doesn't take it, and it's potentially a speed tie. Uh, though I wasn't paying attention to when Sand hit me. Let me see. I, I wasn't paying attention at all. I switched out immediately, so. He might save closer to try and boom. Nope. All right, so we get rid of one of the boomers. Um, obviously, Gengar is another one. 
that can come out. Yeah, I'm gonna stand in HP flying, allowing him to knock me out. This will give me a Tyranitar to just click the crunch. Just click crunch right now. Knock him out. Cause like I think the alternative way of me winning was hitting connecting a bunch of hydro pumps. Like obviously versus Metagross didn't matter. Like I could have switched out versus Metagross, but then I would still have to hit that hydro pump versus Gengar, which is a really important one. I think it comes down to this, because this is max special attack crunch. Crunch is special in this, by the way. Dark type moves are special. And there's no point of pursuing because like if he goes for Giga Drain, he'll get a decent amount of recovery. Just Thunderbolts. Yeah, so we're able to knock out Gengar right there. And uh, Zapdos is going to come out. It's going to come down if Zapdos can 1v1 a Snorlax. And I don't get full paired, so that's going to be a good game. Nice, alright, so we win game 1, and let's go ahead and get ready for game 2. Now the thing is, I'll show you guys all his replays, but that game 1 team was my plan for, uh, for a good matchup versus all these types of build that he's been using. Because every single uh, team... He let off with T-Tar, but he had a Skarmory in the back. Every single team let off with T-Tar, had a Skarmory in the back. So, my initial turn one was going to be lead Ments and always double immediately into Mag. But I do have another team that's uh, really solid by BKC. Let's see how it goes. Right, I'm going to refresh this because I, I, I don't like messing with that stuff. Uh, lead Skarm, which isn't too bad. Uh, this is probably just going to be a... He might just Dry Whirlwind, but... This is going to probably be one of those... I, I'd love to have a mag here. But this is probably going to be uh, one of those um, just full spikes type of game. Which is going to be annoying, but I don't think I can limit that too much. Actually, yes I can. I'm going to go hard zap those. And click Toxic right here. He could click Toxic of his own, but I'm going to click Toxic myself. Max Offensive Zapdos hits really hard, by the way. Ninety-eight min. That is ridiculous. And not even Mag is doing that type of damage. I'm clicking Thunderbolt again, bro. Not even Mag is doing that type of damage. It does 95 min with Magnet. Yeah, but we'll click Thunderbolt again. Let's see his initial switching. Um, I didn't want to go Skarm because I don't want him trapping me. Ooh, nice Jolteon, which I do not switch in that well to. I don't want to give up a sub, though. And I can protect and eat up some hits, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give him a sub. Um, and landing a Toxic on Jolteon means that it actually doesn't beat me 1v1 later. So we'll protect. Uh, Jolteon doesn't have any reliable recovery. I mean, this could be one of those Blissey squads. I wish I loaded up my camera up, Scott. That one's really fun. Uh, but with protects and whatnot, and the fact that there is obviously no uh, turrets are coming in. You bring in T-Tar to cancel out my leftovers? I do that. The way he baton passed too, I'm not sure if he's actually HP Grass or HP Ice. Starmie comes out. I have Jirachi. That's a good switching. A great switching, in fact. Uh, so we can just wish up. I'm eating that for breakfast. Not Fire Punch. That Hydro Pump would not have done anything. I'm Spadef Jirachi. Actually, we'll throw off a Toxic here. Um, just in case he reveals a Duck Trio. Because at least with Toxic plus Protect, I can deal with it. Also, you could expect me to be Calm Mind. I don't want a hard Wish Pass either into Zapdos. I mean, I really do, but I don't. So we get the nice Toxic off on, uh, on Starmie. 
Throw off another wish here. As he does reveal the Dougie, unfortunately. I wonder how much this... This is what I was trying to trap earlier, but I wonder how much this is going to do. Okay, hold up. We landed Toxic, so there is definitely a possibility of 1v1 in this thing. It's going to involve uh, quite a bit of luck. It is going to involve quite a bit of luck. Like I mean, I don't have a I don't have another play besides trying to go for another protect. That storm is gonna be an issue, dude. I actually end up getting the double protect. Okay. But do we get the triple? I mean, that's it's literally my play. Don't get it. I don't go down though, which is amazing. Uh, because I can actually come in later, and we end up, we end up one v one in the uh, the Dougie. Those rolls are crazy. <laughs> They're actually crazy. Four eighty. What the hell? Yeah, he actually did seventy four eighty seventy four. I wish he did seventy four seventy four seventy four. But um. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried now about the. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, the Starmie. Our protection work though. Also, my Tyranitar in particular, I'm pretty sure I live a hit from offensive Starmie. My only play though. It's legitimately my only play. Uh, Thunderbolt did 17. I mean, I'm going for another double protect. <laughs> so I actually forced the Hydro Pump here. This is the same thing. I forced the Hydro Pump now, and if Hydro Pump misses, I get back a, a good amount of HP. That was the that was the point of me going for double protect there. And then I get to bring in Tyranitar, and I get my leftovers recovery to the point where I'm actually just outside of range of the max he can do. I am just outside of range of the max that he can do. Because I get the leftovers recovery at the end of this turn. So I would love to get rid of Starmie right here. He's going to do like 10 million to me. Well, I mean, I'm about max, but like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is just an easy crunch play. Because he has Jolteon, I kind of doubt he has um, a Duck Trio. And my crunch does 101% minimum. I want to pursue so badly, but I can't bring myself to actually pulling the trigger. Especially because if this messes up, I'm in a bad situation. Should I do it though? I think I should. Ah, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we got rid of probably the biggest threat to my team. As Swamper comes out, I can deal with Swamper. I have a Skarm. Okay, that, that Swamper did way too much. Oh, this is a... Endeavor's the only one that does that much. There's no way you let me toxic you, right? Yeah, he might. He might actually let me toxic him. I, at this point, I don't really care about his hazards because three of my Pokemon, four of my Pokemon avoid it. So actually, toxic is my best play. And if he subs, I can whirlwind him out anyway. As he reveals the Gengar, that's completely fine. We'll just go ahead and protect right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna spike up. I want to make sure that Jolteon's coming in a little bit uh, weakened and uh, Swamper, which is an issue. I can at least toxic. We'll just crunch. Mm. 
Okay, well, attempt to get the wake up right here and click pursuit. As Pert comes out. Oh, it's not Endeavor Pert. Interesting. He should go for Hydro Pump. Yeah, but that gives me Zapdos to click Hidden Power. I think Hidden Power is my play because of Jolteon coming in. He gets to find out that I'm not HP. Uh, he gets to find out my Hidden Power. Right back on the Swamper. I don't care about Skarmory because I have Gengar at the end of the day. Swampert I do care about though. Yeah, this thing kind of beats me 1v1. Ah, oh, man, this Jirachi could have just more, like literally one. It was just because of the Dougie, man. Ah, I should have played it better. Fire Punch. The way you can't bring in Jolteon. No Thunderbolt. Phases me out. Into my Tyranitar, which I can just roar with. Try and get some residual. Ideally, I roar him out on the Gengar, and then I force him into a situation where he can... Uh, he can go down, because I'm really worried about Jolteon at that point, but I gotta let Gengar not take a hit, and at the same time, it's just really hard too. So, get the roar off. Ah, nice. Okay, give me Jolteon, or Skarm is fine too. Skarm just gives me Gengar, so that's not, I mean, so that's not a big deal. That's a free Gengar, and I got the poison damage off on Pert, which I desperately needed. It's gonna come down close, boys. If he goes per, okay, that's great. Gives me Skarm, awesome. I'm assuming uh, Swampert's coming in now. Could be Jolteon as well. Because I, I, Jolteon actually makes a lot of sense because I don't deal with... Uh, I don't deal with um, Thunderbolt plus Hydro Pump very well. But it still could come down to him hitting Hypnosis versus my, uh, my Tyranitar. Because if he goes Jolteon, I think I have to stay in. I think I go Tyranitar here. Always. Like, I, I need to make sure that my Gengar is healthy enough to take on Jolteon. Let me go off Hypnosis. He has Giga Drain, he has Giga Drain. Yeah. I, I had to do that. I don't think I had another another play either. I don't know why he went that over uh, Jolteon first. Then again, I don't know how much Jolteon actually does to my Tyranitar. If he's HP Grass, away, he can't touch my flag on. Thunderbolt does 34 to 40, so he can't actually kill me with it. I mean, that was the odds I had to go for. Um, I think he should have went Jolteon first. HP Grass does not kill me either. Yeah, HP Grass never kills me. And Crunch does 44 to 52. I mean, it kills me if you crit, but like that means that my... Uh, That should mean that Flygon wins the game, I believe. Sucks that he could right there, but like, I mean, I dodged Hypnosis like a turn prior. Flygon. Right 
Earthquake does 40 to 47. Um, Gengar. Freaking make Ice Guard. Get the hell out of here. 12 damage this turn, plus Earthquake. I'm going to make sure he's not in Torrent so my Gengar doesn't go down to one hit. Yeah. I got to make sure he's not in Torrent. So I basically get an extra turn off, I think, with this. I think. So that way he goes down to the um, the Choice Band um, Earthquake Guaranteed. Yep. I think that was my uh, way to end this game out. Nice. GG's, man. Ooh, really intense. Um, definitely luck, for sure. Um, I got double protection whatnot versus Dugtro, but I did every single play that I think that I had to do to win. And I think the biggest turning point was him. Um, I think a huge turning point was, where's the turn? When I needed that spike up, that was big. Uh, was him going Gengar immediately on Tyrant, uh, like him going Gengar and going for Hypnosis as opposed to going Pert. But then again, I, I understand his thought process. Try and put Tyrant or sleep because, um, because Jolteon can't Oko it. I'm trying to think, would Earthquake have done... No, 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 no. I need the extra turn. I need the extra turn because Earthquake would have put him in Torrent. And that means that uh, if my Ice Punch didn't KO... Maybe I'm just calculating it wrong. It would have done the exact same damage anyway. But basically, that extra turn ensured that Earthquake knocked him out. Because I think he would have been at a percentage higher where Ice Punch would not have KO'd. So I think I had to make that endgame play. But end up winning 2-0. So that means we are in round 3 of the ADB Cup. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, a very, very solid series, I think. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.